What's up guys, it's everyone's favorite Campy T here, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about what I believe would be winning combinations for your rifle in each division for quantified performance matches. Keep in mind, I'm talking about winning combinations. So take your ego out of it where you say, well, I want to shoot my 12 inch with a one to four on it or whatever that might be, because every sacrifice that you make that isn't matching up with the with the highest allowable standard put out by the match is a handicap that you're allowing yourself. What that means is if you're allowed a 16 inch barrel in general purpose division and you choose to shoot a 12 inch barrel, you just handicapped yourself with velocity. Um, also, handicaps that you can make for yourself is uh, ammunition. You know, if you decide to shoot 55 grain, 193, instead of, say, AAC 75 grain, Hornady Boat to Hollow Points, um, you are sacrificing the BC of the 75 grain, which is going to way, way, way come in handy in a match like this. So, all that being said, general purpose division. What I think the perfect setup for general purpose division would be is a 16 inch barrel 556 with a 1 to 10 optic because you're allowed a 1 to 10, a 1 to 10 optic on it. I prefer the EOTech Voodoo because I like the reticle in it better in mil. Uh, I like the reticle in it better than I do the um, Vortex 1 to 10. Um, you guys can have your own opinions on that, whatever and a D60 magazine, because you're not limited to magazine capacity, loaded with AAC's 75 grain Hornady boat tail hollow points. And the reason that I would choose that, that ammunition is because the 75 grain Hornady boat tail hollow point has a higher BC than the 77 grain Sierra Match King. And also in my testing, it has had a higher velocity than the 77 grain Sierra Match King offerings. Um, I would also run a muzzle brake instead of a can. And the reason that I would choose a muzzle brake instead of a suppressor is because it's an individual match and the goal is to go fast. If you are if you have a gun that's a little over gassed or something like that, it's throwing gas in your face, that's a disadvantage that you're allowing yourself. And like I said, this, this whole video is about winning. So 16 inch, 5.56 five, with a 1 to 10... Um, muzzle brake, two-stage trigger, pick your poison on that. Uh, you could use the PSA two-stage. I'm a fan of that. Um, also, the Geisley, if you you know got more money, the LaRue is awesome, the MBT, um, and the D60 magazine because you're not limited to magazine capacity. I have a rifle set up very similar to that, but not quite. Uh, this right here is topped with a 1-6 to six from Primary Arms, so that would be a sacrifice made right there. Um, this, this rifle would fall into general purpose division because it has a 16 inch barrel, but I'm also running a suppressor on this one, but this rifle is in, and it has a two stage trigger. Like I was talking about earlier, this rifle is intended for motherfuckers more so than competition use. Practical precision. In practical precision, the limitations are not on your optic, but your magazine capacity and your barrel length. Your barrel length cannot exceed 20 inches and your magazine capacity cannot exceed 20. So in that division, I would move away from the 556 and if you were a wildcatter like myself, you don't mind, you know, reloading and stuff like that. I would say that probably the perfect setup for that would be a 20 inch barrel 22 Grendel uh, with you know 20 round magazines you can get uh, Duramag 20 round magazines uh, muzzle device uh, a muzzle brake on the end of it I like control solutions muzzle brakes pick your poison there there's uh, the 419 brakes are pretty good too and so on and whatnot um, as far as glass is concerned follow your dreams since you're not limited to glass um, I feel like you know I ran 4 to 14 for a long time 
Uh, this last match I used five to twenty five. Um, I've, I've used a lot of different you know glass over the years. Um, I feel like having a low end at five is is kind of a high low end for some of the closer end shots, like the one hundred yard shots and stuff like that. But again, follow your dreams. Um, I think a six to twenty four would be too much glass personally, but you know who am I? I'm just a dude in a wheelchair with eight fingers. So twenty inch barrel. 22 Grendel with 20 round Duramags, a let's say a 3 to 18 scope on it in mil, two stage trigger, and uh, I think that right there would be a winning combination for practical precision. And the reason I believe that is because you are allowed the 20 inch barrel, so use it. And if you're allowed that 20 inch barrel, why not get the most? BC and velocity that you can get out of it, considering that the targets are anywhere from a hundred yards to a thousand yards. Well, the 22 Grendel, you can shoot the 80 grain ELDM out of a 20 inch barrel, 2,900 feet per second. And if you plug in those numbers, then you see that that's a pretty outstanding little cartridge. And I think it would dominate practical precision. All right. It's time to talk about open division. The only real limitation that you have in open division is your magazine capacity, which your magazine capacity is 25 rounds. Um, so normally I, I like to start with what your barrel length restriction is, but because you don't have one, I will say that you can go too long on the barrel. And whenever your rifle becomes unwieldy, then it no longer is easy, as easy, to negotiate obstacles. So if you have to pull a 31 inch pull cue out of an obstacle and then reinsert into another one and continue that for 10 steps, you're gonna have a bad time. So I would say that 22, 24 inch, maybe a 26 inch barrel is acceptable for open division. Much longer than that, and you're going to start having diminishing returns for some chamberings, and then also um, your speed is going to slow down because you have more barrel to pull out of a barricade. Um, as far as optics go, I would say that you're, you know, because you don't have a limitation on optics, then you could do the same thing that you do with practical precision but you are limited to 25 round magazines and Duramag makes 25 round six millimeter arc and six five Grindel magazines. And again, I think that 22 Grindel, if you are a wildcatter, um, would dominate that division. However, if you like factory ammunition and stuff like that, if that's your jam sandwich, then uh, I don't see a problem with six millimeter arc. And I typically, We'll stick with the small frame uh, ARs in in a competition like this because the large frame ARs, they might have the advantage of BC and velocity, which is what I've been talking about this whole video, but you have the disadvantage of fast follow-up shots and heavier recoil impulse. So do with this information what you will. I'm Cameron Hayes, the Campy T. And I hope to see you out there.